Hi, my name is Roy Wilson, Dialogue Assistant Specialist with Hayfla. Dialogue is a Hayfla branded product for access control. And what we're going to cover today is some of the new products that we actually have to show for Dialogue. Dialogue ranges from cabinetry, or furniture rather, all the way up to buildings, which we're talking about uh, hospitals, we're talking about hotels from those areas. But we're going to focus primarily on furniture and some of the new components that we actually have for uh, Dialog is one item which is called an FT200. And this FT200, if any of you probably recall of the previous Dialog uh, furniture terminal, it was uh, FT120. But the FT200 now has more features, functionality, is actually is a new uh, generation branded product. This component, out of the box, allows you to use two antennas. Our previous FT120 only allowed you to have one. The purpose of the two antennas is that if you wanted to actually feed uh, uh, antenna in, in separate locations for that customer to be able to use their key to actually still access a local area, uh, you can do so. So you got two antennas. Now, this came about because of a cus uh, the customer's request. So that tells you that we're listening to our customers. Uh, also, we can connect up to four locks, which we'll talk about later on. On our FT120, it was only one lock that you can connect. Now, when I say connect one lock or four locks, that's out of the box. But you can actually connect up to 128 locks to be fired off one controller unit. Also, on this device, we can connect an external LED light and also an, an external buzzer, so if you actually wanted this, if this, the sound to be uh, sent out to another location, you can do that. On the back of the unit is where your power connects, and also the port that you see here actually allows for you to be able to use external alarm devices that can be connected up to this FT200. Now this unit is also Bluetooth capable, and that's what we're going to be talking about in another session as it relates to um, our app, which is our hotel management app to be able to control this unit by uh, your mobile phone. So with all these components put in place, we actually have a mock-up that we're showing to be able to see the components all, to, all put together uh, to include the two antennas that we talked about, which you can use and function off of one, and four EFL3 locks, electronic furniture locks, that's gonna be connected to the FT200. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there were, uh, you could connect up to four out of the box. Customer may only have one or two or three, but as I uh, uh, said earlier, you can have up to 128 locks in this unit. Also, that we're gonna, what we're gonna be using here in the mock-up, and we'll talk about that on the tail end of this session is an EFL 30 lock, which is a battery powered lock, uh, which can be used for various, various uh, applications as well. As we talk about applications, our FT200 as it is, I had mentioned before, this being furniture, some of the key areas that this unit is being used in is for retail. A lot of retail stores use uh, this control unit uh, to be able to, to um, access and uh, uh, secure their uh, merchandise. And they like this component because it can be hidden, uh, it's slim, it's easy to install, all plug and play, uh, so you have all the features there that are available. The EFL3 lock, I would say the same. Uh, it's, it's easy to be installed, uh, it's slim, uh, it's um, non-intrusive, you can actually hide it behind your, your, your locks and your uh, cabinets and your drawers. Uh, in order to, for them to be able to function and lock the doors that you need to lock. So, that is pretty much an intro of the components that we actually have. And I think what I would like to do from here is actually go through some steps of what we call simple programming. Simple programming is just one of a few different variations of uh, programming that can be done. You can go simple, we can actually go all the way to the top 
and actually be able to use our dialogue system using software. That's more on the high end of using the dialogue system. There's lots of bells and whistles, the functionalities there. And in the middle of this, we're talking about a app that you can use on your phone, and that was mentioned earlier. But for the first session of this, we're gonna focus on simple programming. Simple programming is something that you're looking at using if a customer may wanna use maybe 10, 20 of these FT200 units, probably no more because we wanna keep it simple. In this particular case here, uh, in order to actually program this, some of the, uh, the key cards you're gonna need is a green add programming key, red delete key, and whatever customer keys they're gonna need. So we're gonna actually use two keys and two keys in this scenario. So these are the keys we actually need. So out of the box with the FT200, the first thing this unit does is that it wants to be able to see and know who is the key that's gonna be used to add users. And it wants to know which key is used to actually delete users out of the system. Now to fire this up, I'm going to actually disconnect my power and reconnect simulating out of the box. It's flashing green, waiting for this key card. It's flashing red, waiting for this key card. Now what we've done, we've enrolled your green programming key and your red delete key. We fulfilled the first step of the programming. The next step is to actually program your user keys. That's gonna actually be the keys that's actually accessing the, the unit on a daily basis or whatever amount of time that you're using a key. I'm gonna use my green programming key. While it's flashing, I'm gonna program my user key. And I had two keys here, so I'm gonna program both of them. The unit is still flashing, waiting for more keys to be programmed. If it doesn't see any keys, it's gonna time out. And in this particular case, I have two user keys that should be able to fire my four locks that I have connected. Okay? So we're able to, con to program our locks. And I can use either antenna. That concludes what's needed for simple programming and you will find additional features in another video.